Princess Beatrice was glowing when she appeared in a video as the royal patron of a children's charity in late June 2021. Wonder if it has anything to do with her pregnancy? In a short video, she shared a touching message marking the end of Children's Hospice Week in the UK. The organization aims to help kids who have life-shortening conditions. Thank you so much for all the work that you do, and we're very lucky that we get to support you. The 32-year-old got married in 2020, and she's about to become a new mom. On May 19th, she shared the delightful news that she and her husband would be welcoming a baby. The statement read, Her Royal Highness Princess Beatrice and Mr. Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi are very pleased to announce that they are expecting a baby in autumn of this year. The Queen has been informed, and both families are delighted with the news. While the baby will be Beatrice's first child, Eduardo already has a four-year-old son, Christopher, from a previous relationship. Of course, the announcement stirred some drama. Beatrice and Eduardo shared their news on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's third anniversary, and many questioned the timing of the announcement. See, back in 2018, Harry and Meghan chose to announce their pregnancy at Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooksbank's wedding. Payback? Perhaps. Now it seems as if Meghan and Harry may have upset B again. Gossip Cop explored a rumor about Princess Beatrice taking issue with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Apparently, the Australian gossip outlet New Idea claimed Beatrice had wanted to name her future daughter Lily. Markle's new baby girl and Archie's little sister is named Lilibet, or Lily for short, inspired by the royal family's nickname for Queen Elizabeth II. It's a go. <laughs> A source alleged to New Idea. Everyone knew Princess Beatrice had planned ever since she was a little girl to call her firstborn daughter Lily, inspired by her grandmother. Gossip Cop shoots down New Idea's article, however, and points out that the publication has repeatedly made salacious claims about Harry and Meghan. What we do know is that Harry will be spending time at Frogmore Cottage during the week of June 28th, according to Hello Magazine, with his cousin Princess Eugenie and her husband. He flew to London for the upcoming unveiling of Princess Diana's statue on July 1st, where he and Prince William will make speeches in remembrance of their mother. If there was bad blood between B and the prince, it doesn't seem likely that her sister Eugenie would open her home to him at this time. Meanwhile, Beatrice instead seems to be focused on supporting her charities and waiting for her little one's arrival in the fall. Perhaps Harry could even give her pointers about life as a new parent. Although it seems Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are on good terms with Princess Beatrice, it appears she was overlooked when they left the monarchy, according to Express. Instead of handing over Frogmore Cottage to Beatrice and her husband, Harry and Meghan gave the property to Princess Eugenie. Eugenie was pregnant with her first child at the time, and the cottage was previously renovated for Archie's birth. So although it made sense, the decision reportedly raised eyebrows. It's reported that Beatrice and her husband were looking at the two-bedroom Nottingham Cottage at Kensington Palace, but it pales in comparison to the five-bedroom accommodations at Frogmore. Eugenie and Harry have been close since they were kids, so it's possible Eugenie was the first to come to mind when Harry was thinking about handing the keys over. Even though some were apparently surprised with Harry giving Frogmore to Eugenie, it seems that there's no hard feelings between him and Beatrice. With Beatrice and Eduardo getting closer and closer to welcoming their first child, baby name predictions are rolling in. It appears Florence and Theodore are in the running for top name choices per bookies in the UK. Arabella, Cecilia, Julius, and Francesco are also contenders. Alex Apati of London-based betting and gambling company Ladbrokes shared more details on the name possibilities with people magazine, saying, The latest odds suggest Princess Beatrice and husband Eduardo will opt for a traditional name with a nod to the latter's Italian roots, and as things stand, it's Florence and Theodore leading the way in the betting. Eduardo is of Italian royalty and the oldest son of Count Alessandro Mapelli Mozzi and will inherit the family's ancestral seat. B and Eduardo could also honor her late grandfather, Prince Philip. The couple could also choose girl names like Emmeline, Madeline, Clementine, Allegra, Gabriella, and Isabella, Hugo, Alexander, Rupert, Alfonso, Alberto, and Teddy round out picks for boy names. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about the royal family are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.